Hello, in this video I'll show you the location and the wiring diagram for the camshaft position sensor on Audi A4, A5, B8 with a 2.7 TDI engine and 3 liters TDI engine. Before I show you the location of the camshaft position sensor on the car, I'll show you the service manual for it. In the service manual, I'm going to select the car, select the engine, and then show you the uh, wiring diagram and the uh, component location. If the video is useful, please like and comment on the video and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. In the search tab, we're going to type uh, camshaft position sensor, and it will show you. It will show us the location of it. That's what the sensor looks like. And it's uh, located right there, number one camshaft position sensor. It's somewhere underneath the air intake hose. Next, I'll show you the wiring diagram for the carbon shaft position sensor. So the camshaft position sensor is uh, right there in blue, B132, and we can see it has uh, three wires. We can see that the three wires are going to the engine control module. This uh, brown wire is shared with this uh, sensor and it's going again to the engine control module. And the other two wires are also going to the engine control module of which uh, one of them is shared again. Uh, we can see the colors of the wires are blue and green, blue, red, uh, green and brown. Next I'll show you the location of the camshaft position sensor on the car. In the service manual we saw that it's somewhere on the rear of the engine underneath the air intake hose. So now we'll see where it is exactly. We can see the camshaft position sensor located right there. This is the electrical connector to it and there is one bolt holding it to the engine head. Uh, we can see, oh, I'll show you now that this uh, connector has uh, three wires just like in the wiring diagram. Here it is, uh, three wires. In order to get better access uh, to the uh, camshaft position sensor, you need to remove this air intake hose that's on top of it, and then you'll be able to uh, remove it or test it or whatever you need. Hopefully the video was helpful. Thank you for watching.